Bob, you say that we can't lose our salvation. Isn't that called once saved, always saved, or the doctrine of eternal security? What is eternal security? And how do we know that it's true? Eternal security is God's promise that the one who simply believes in Jesus has everlasting life, shall not come into judgment, but is passed from death into life, John 5, 24, or shall never hunger or never thirst, John 6, 35, shall never die, John eleven twenty six. It's a promise that we are secure. And once saved, always saved is another way of saying that. Baptists like to use the expression, once saved, always saved. And, and I think it's a good expression. But I think we need to be careful here. Some people get confused and think, well, what if I never heard the words eternal security until today? Does that mean I've not been born again yet? Or I never heard once saved, always saved till today? No, the real issue is, has a person come to the point in their life where they understood that what they received by believing in Jesus was everlasting? Whether they called that uh, an eternal home with him, an eternal relationship with him, that I'm going to heaven with him forever, which by the way is wrong, we're going to go to the new earth, <laughs> but that's another question. Or whether it means I'm justified once and for all, I've been declared righteous once and for all, I'm saved once and for all, I'm eternally secure, whatever it is, they get the concept. That's the key, because that's what Jesus promises. And until a person believes that, they've not yet believed the promise.